This might look like a normal backyard garden, with its bounty of vegetables ready for harvest. However, this garden is quite unusual. So welcome to the edible estate number 15. The edible estate is the front lawn of the Shaner's residence in Woodbury. What began as an art project with the Walker Art Center has turned into a ready-to-pick farmer's market in the front yard. Artist in residence Fritz Haig, who had previously done 14 other projects throughout the country, was looking for a quiet residential suburb to create edible estate number 15. When Kathy Shane here heard they were looking for volunteers, she immediately wanted to apply. But first, she had to do one thing. I talked to all my neighbors and asked them if they'd be okay with us putting it in our front yard. So I talked to everyone and everyone seemed really excited about it before I even applied. The Shane Hairs were one of more than 100 families that applied, and in their surprise, they were chosen. I guess we had a really large front lawn, so there was just a lot of space for it. We kind of hit it off with the artist pretty well. We had a really good first talk with him. So then, on May 24, 2013, more than 100 volunteers showed up to tear up their front lawn, create landscapes, and plant everything from Brussels sprouts to cherry trees to a vine of hops. Every plant that's in this garden is edible. It took only two days to transform a typical suburban lawn into a plentiful garden. The front yard now features a wood fire pizza oven, a gathering place for family and friends, and a kid's garden, which has become the responsibility of the Little Helper's Child Care located across the street. During the day, she'll come over with the kids and she'll go to each plant and ask them if they know what it is. And now, with this being four years old, a lot of the kids know what all the plants are. So you hold on to it, way down low, and give it a yank. You got it. It's a great way to have hands-on involvement of learning. The children are much more eager to try new things that they've been a part of the process for. Right now we're harvesting cucumbers and tomatoes and loving it. Sometimes the tomatoes don't even make it in the house because the cherry tomatoes go right in their mouth. So it's been a great experience. Young children learning about plants and gardening is just part of what makes this place special. Even though the garden is on the Shane Harris property, it really belongs to the entire neighborhood. I think it's been a great addition to the neighborhood. And I'm really glad that it's here because I don't personally have the time to create this in my own yard, but we can walk across the street and have this great experience. People feel like they can come over and, and take tomatoes and not feel guilty about taking tomatoes from our garden. It's nice. Neighbors and friends often stop by to pick their favorite foods and help maintain the garden, which has truly become a gathering place for their community. We've always had a close neighborhood, but this has brought more people together to help with gardening. So the sense of community that it's brought is probably my favorite part of this project. Well, like everyone else. It's all about having people come and spend time with us. Having your neighbors around makes the work of harvesting so much easier. Keeping up the garden is a labor of love and makes one realize how impressive nature can be. You get to see all the work that goes into it and really appreciate what the effort that it takes to feed the whole world. Or what it takes to just feed your neighborhood.